action. Okay, let me tell you where all this name painting started. I get that question asked a lot. Um, how did I stumble into painting people's names? Well, I had been just doing my own thing, and then one night on a live stream, um, I, I thought, I'll just paint my name. And I just kept adding my name to the stuff I was painting because I'm in love with text. I'm in love with writing, um, with lettering. And as soon as I painted my name, someone said, hey, can you paint my name? And uh, it just it just took off from there. So enjoy these names. Um, and uh, yeah.
Okay, I don't know if you made it this far in the video, but obviously, oh, I do. I do, because if you, you're watching this, you made it this far. Number one question, it's in, it's in the, the links in the description, but still, I use the Grog Squeezer.
nervous painting live. Um, I do. I do. I get nervous. But I'll tell you, every time I do, it's always new. Even if I were to paint, and I try not to paint the exact same thing every single night, I have a list of 20 or 30 things I try to rotate and reinvent them. But I will tell you, um, it's hilarious because I'll start coming up with something and people really want to know, what do you call that? What, what's that one called? And, and I don't really know half the time, but if you do it enough, you're going to have viewers that start naming things. So kind of look around in some of these, um, in some of these uh, videos and, and we have Floor Face Man, Roach Man, Airplane Man, Coffee Cup. It doesn't need to be man. It could be, you know, it could be an airplane person, roach person. <laughs> uh, anyway, so these are some of the funny things that um, viewers over time have named.
I've um, done illustration as um, just kind of a hobby, but yet people commission me to do work um, because, they, you know, I'm just an art kid. Uh, I just love to draw so much that people just knew it. I wasn't making a living at it for decades. I just drew a lot and then people would see it and they'd say, hey, will you paint this for me? Will you design this for me? Will you draw this for me? And um, I would always say yes and I would do it. And I would get in the old sketchbook and I'd get some sketches going. And I was like, oh, this is awesome. There's just so much energy in a sketch. And uh, I'll show you a sketch here that I was doing about um, people hiding behind trees. Hopefully that showed up nicely. And then you go and you wind up doing a finished illustration and it felt like all the energy had been sucked out of the, the uh, initial sketch. And so that's why on, that's the way the way I'm working right now. I mean, it might change, but right now, I don't sketch anything out and I really try to just hit the board running with a blank piece of white paper and um, shut off uh, any uh, intentions on how things are going to turn out and for me that's where the energy and the magic is. It, it goes south sometimes but for the most part um, I discover things I would have never done on my own.
talk about lettering a lot and people don't talk about it a lot in comments and chats and stuff like that on these live streams. However, really, if I wasn't letter, I just love it so much. In fact, I used to have a corporate job um, for years. I've had corporate jobs and I had a corporate job and I was living in New York, not the city, but just in New York, the state. And we had a basement and it was a little dank and wet, but I would go down there. I don't know, I'm gonna exaggerate a little bit. I go down there every night a lot. I, I went down there a lot. And I had a whole setup. And I was obsessed with sign painting and hand lettering. And I would just letter. Mostly I didn't do signs. Mostly I just did different types of alphabets with the brushes and the lettering paint. And um, I mean, I can still remember coming up the next morning and hanging up like 20 alphabets I had done just just because I love them and uh, so I think that's where a lot of I find joy in meshing your viewers names with the whatever if you want to call it art if you want to call it doodles whatever you want to call it meshing the two is where the unknown begins to unfold